Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the homestead. My name is Larry. Um, so this is Sunday night, April the 11th. I've been spending most of the weekend somewhat working on trying to get the uh, irrigation completed for my garden. I'll go over and show you that here in a second. Kind of wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, so I'm doing the Haas Tools drip irrigation. That's what I'm, not their drip irrigation, their drip tape. That's what I'm installing. And I did some of it last year on my previous beds. And if you if you watch those videos, I had a heck of a time trying to actually punch the holes to put the drip tape in. So what I did this time is I ordered their punch hole, their tool for punching holes. And this is significantly larger than the punch tool I was using before. So definitely use the right size tool for their stuff. Haas Tools has it on their website. It makes it a whole lot easier. Everything that I've done so far has gone in quite well. Another thing I kind of wanted to, I'm pulling a couple things up here. At, um, I had bought some regular drip tape or, or mainline that worked pretty good and I had to go get just a little bit more and I got a different brand and there's a significant difference in the brand. So the one I got is the Toro Happy, it's a fun, Toro Funny Pipe was what I got. And the difference is, I don't know if you can kind of see just how thick that is there versus a regular line the thickness there is significantly different. So much so that a lot of the connectors won't fit in here because the inner diameter ends up being significantly less than, than the other normal main line. So that, you know, you can't just go grab any main line. It, it's gotta be, you know, the thinner walled stuff because otherwise it won't fit into all of your adapters. So that's a, just a couple of tips right off the bat that uh, I found out. So let me take you over and show you. I'm not finished. Um, had a lot of different things going on this weekend and so didn't quite get it all done. I'll work on it throughout the week this week because I hope to start putting the fence up around the garden next weekend. So let me go over and show you what we're, where I'm at. So I've got this first first bed complete. Matter of fact, this entire first row is complete here. And I've got a main line coming there. And I've got it teed off on each one of them. And I've, I can turn the water off and on to each individual bed. That's kind of how I'm having that set up. I went away from the PVC. I've had too many issues of the PVC breaking. So, um, I decided to go away from that and try to just run this main line uh, regular drip tape here. Um, did the same thing here. And this one being that was going straight up there, I just put that um, valve there. So like I said, these are the onions and the carrots and the peas. I've, I suppose we could probably go ahead and do something with that, this last bed over here, although I do need to um, I need to water it all real good and get everything good and wet in here before I go planting anything in here. And coming over here, <coughs> I've got the uh, the main line and all the stuff run there. I ran out of didn't I didn't think about the um, these end connectors here. So I ran out of these little puppies. I've got some more of those on order, so that's the main reason for uh, having to hold up. This has been one of those, it's like not thinking, taking everything into account of what I needed to get the job done. And so I have to keep going back and making a couple of different runs to this store to go pick up a couple of things. So I've got this one done. I think I've got one bed complete there. I've still got three more over here to do. I'll do those throughout the week. So that's kind of where, where I'm at right now. I'm going to come over here 
and I will probably attach all three of these lines here to one so all I have to do is you know hook a hose up here and can water all 12 beds all at the same time and I can cut some off if I want to here and there so that's where we've been working on today and and this weekend that's kind of where we're at after a week I'm leaving the uh, main line out there to kind of heat up in the sun so it's easy to move around I need to add some more a little bit more compost to this bed and I think there's another bed over there I need to add some more to so but we'll work on that throughout the week and so that's kind of where we're at with the irrigation but yeah the uh, if you use the thicker stuff these guys here and these guys will not fit into the the happy line that's uh, significantly thicker they just won't go in there so tip for tip for the future uh, the chickens are all happy they get to uh, do a little redecorate and I added a whole bale of straw into their pen here now they get to scratch it around and go find out what's in there and go play and stuff made the ducks now have all kinds of clean water although they're in the small one there this is to help absorb water on all of this other fun stuff here. So, happy chickens, happy ducks. So anyway, that's the update for the weekend. Um, got work and stuff tomorrow, tomorrow morning, so we'll uh, cut this off here. Hope you have a great week. God bless, and we'll see you on the next video.